Hi guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So Urban Decay have launched some vintage lipsticks. This is from their Vintage Capsule Lipstick Collection. There is nine colors in this collection and they're all super flashback from 1996. Needless to say, there is so many colors that I am completely obsessed with in this collection. So I was like, I need to swatch these right now. So if you guys want to see all nine shades swatched, keep watching and stay tuned till the end for a review. So it has been 20 years since Urban Decay first launched, so they've bought back all of the shades that they had back in 1996. And some of them are so freaking cool. Obviously the 90s is a huge trend for us right now. So all of these colors are like legit colors from the 90s and they're all pretty awesome. A definite favorite from the range was UVB. This color was freaking amazing. A cornflower kind of blue with like a purple iridescence through it. It is so good. Another one that I really liked was this Pala. This one, you know, it gives you that kind of deathly, purpley, lavender, grayish look, but I like that it's kind of a little bit see-through. You can literally pop it over any kind of lip liner as well. Another shade that I really liked was Asphyxia. This one is beautiful. It's like a lavendery color with that blue opalescent glitter through it. So that one, yes. Love it. So as you can see, the packaging is different. This is 
are a throwback of the original Urban Decay packaging. Also, the boxes are another throwback of what the packaging used to look like. So super kind of 90s looking. I love that there are some of those kind of obscure shades that usually you can only get in the liquid lipstick formula right now. Uh, so for people that don't like that super drying matte formula of the liquid lipsticks, these shades are going to be perfect for you. So pretty much all of these lipsticks are a cream formula. So they do have that kind of creamy moisturizing feel, which is awesome if your lips are feeling dry. To apply them, I always, always use this Smith 302 brush or I make sure I have a lip liner down first and then apply them over the top. A lip liner is definitely going to stop them from moving. I have worn uh, the creams from the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks before and they're super moisturizing but they don't tend to bleed if you wear a lip liner with them. The lip that I have on right now, I use the Hex 24-7 lip liner with oil slick over the top. Oil slick is pretty much going to give like a grayish kind of glossy look to any lip liner or lipstick color that you put it over as well. So apparently this one bruised the one that I was probably least excited about is one of the most popular requests of a vintage Urban Decay lipstick to bring back. So that one was super pretty, but it just wasn't quite as fun as the blues and the purples. Another one that I really liked was this color Roach. This is just to die for. I love that kind of bronzy color and I feel like that's pretty flattering and it's gonna be a really nice fall color as well. The only one consistency wise that was a little bit kind of sheer for me was Frostbite. But once I put it on with my lip brush, or if you put it over a lip liner, that one will be totally fine. I think it was just not quite as opaque as I was expecting it to be by looking at the actual tube of lipstick. So these colors are holiday for Urban Decay. I'm not 100% sure when they come out at the point of making this video, but as soon as I find out, I will link everything in the description box when they're available and how to get them as well. When they are available, obviously you can get them from Sephora, Macy's, Ulta, and also the Urban Decay website. So let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and if you plan on purchasing any of these vintage flashback Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and it has been helpful for you. Make sure you like this if it helped you and subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing tons more lip swatch videos. Thanks guys. Bye.